Hi. Let's have some fun. Going to use a new toy. Let me show you these video effects. They're pretty good. I can turn this way and that and up and down and it kind of tracks with me. But watch this. This is a trip. <laughs> pretty trippy. Okay, you'll see why I'm emphasizing vision on this one. This is the first uh, journal entry I wrote on Earth Day, April 22nd, 2010. The Mayan day was five death or transformer. And oh, this was fun to write. Precipitation down through the dimensions. What is new in my awareness? What expansion or contraction has taken place? In this culmination of an age and time of so many cycles turning, one could almost ask such questions hourly, moment by moment, and have answer. Now, whether or not one perceives these answers is another matter. Nevertheless, there is benefit in asking the questions. What benefit? The benefit of an open mind of untethered expectations. Expectations always produce. They produce something, if nothing other than a controlling of our vision, a narrowing of it to only see, and often create by the seeing, that which we expect. We always create that way. The question is, on what dimension or plane do we create? Once something becomes physical, that is not the first step in its creation, but the last. Everything begins as a thought. Something must be conceived well before it can be created. Concept, thought, conception, conceive. Do you see the root word there? Note that to conceive is to conceive something, maybe a child, whereas to have a concept, we have a concept of something, of an idea, mind at work, one step removed from the reality, conceive versus conceive of. The concept is about something while it's still mental. Conception is something it creates. It is not one step removed as the mind is from everything. This just illumines how mind isn't the last step in creation, in precipitation down into the physical realm. Another word for this thought, this conception, this thing we've conceived of, notice concept as the root word for conception, is vision. One visualizes or gets or has a vision of that which one desires. One first sees it. That is the true beginning, the true inception of creation, seeing a th thing in the mind's eye, envisioning it, daydreaming it. This starts the process. For once a thing is seen in this way, it already exists. It is created. No, not on the physical dimension. But 3D is not the only thing going, you know. Things begin in a much finer, a much subtler level. The etheric plane or dimension, it is often called. We can't have a thought about a thing that doesn't, re doesn't reside there in the etheric. This is the beginning of creation. It's where the pattern, the blueprint, is stored. Thus, when we set up an expectation, it is an etheric creation. It exists already. Whether it will make its way down through the levels to the physical depends on any number of things. Nonetheless, it does exist. To beings who call that dimension home, it is just as real as your body, your car, your pet, or your planet. Creation is sometimes called precipitation. To precipitate something down into the physical there are levels it must descend through. It descends in vibration, becoming more concrete. Things on the etheric level vibrate very high, 
and too high to be perceived on the physical level or dimension where things are more concrete, where they vibrate at a much slower rate or frequency. And this isn't mumbo jumbo stuff either. Think of the uh, visible light spectrum and violet vibrates at a higher frequency than red. That's what we're talking about here. According to one teaching I studied, that of the Ascended Masters uh, given through the Summit Lighthouse, the next level down from the etheric is the mental dimension. Here, the creation must be refined, given mental form and clothing, so to speak. It becomes more concrete, but still not perceivable physically. One more step down in frequency or vibration before it becomes physical is into the emotional plane or dimension. This is very much a part of creation, of precipitating one's desires. No, desires. That's no misnomer. The etheric creation, next clothed with mind stuff, now takes on emotional energy or substance. We clothe it with feeling of whatever kind. We're lowering it frequency-wise into physical manifestation. Greg Braden gives clear teaching on this process, how to generate something, some change on the physical dimension. One first mentalizes, then creates via the emotions, the feelings. One feels something into manifestation. Does it sound strange? I'll provide a link to a, one of his lectures in the transcript and let him speak for himself. He's a scientist, and he has scientific um, evidence for what he teaches. Once our creation has made its way down into the emotional level, dimension, or plane, it is but one step away from being clothed with the physical, being given form. It has form already, just form that can only be seen by the psychic, the gifted, and what some call the insane. These are doing true seeing, just not only on our 3D plane. Now, it is that thoughts and emotions, ones conflicting with our desired creation, can interfere. Many's the creation that wandered around through life with its creator, never seeing form in 3D, though existing it was not allowed to manifest completely. The way was not quite clear 